friends, Mrs. Sass here. Just wanted to say hello. Hope everyone's doing well and I hope everyone's reading. I love to read. So I thought I would read you guys a story. This story is from one of my favorite authors, Dr. Seuss, and it's And to Think That I Saw It on Mulberry Street. Let's see what it's about. I see that he's thinking about something. Hmm, let's see. And to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street. When I leave home to walk to school, Dad always says to me, Marco, keep your eyelids up and see what you can see. But when I tell him where I've been and what I think I've seen, he looks at me and sternly says, your eyesight's much too keen. Stop telling such outlandish tales. Stop turning minnows into whales. Hmm. Sounds like a little fish story there, huh? Now, what can I say when I get home today? All the long way to school and all the way back, I've looked and looked and I've kept careful track. But all that I've noticed except my own feet was a horse and a wagon on Mulberry Street. And there's the horse and wagon. Sounds easy enough, right? Kind of simple though. Let's see what happens. That's nothing to tell of. That won't do, of course. Just a broken down wagon that's drawn by a horse. That can't be my story. That's only a start. I'll say that a zebra was pulling that cart. And that is a story that no one can beat when I say that I saw it on Mulberry Street. Oh, I wonder what's going on here. It's getting a little interesting. Let's see. Yes, the zebra is fine, but I think it's a shame such a marvelous beast with a cart that's so tame. The story would really be better to hear if the driver I saw was a charioteer. A golden blue chariot, something to meet, rumbling like thunder down Mulberry Street. Oh. No, it won't do at all. A zebra's too small. A reindeer is better. He's fast and he's fleet. And he'd look mighty smart on old Mulberry Street. There we go. Reindeer. Pages are sticking here. Hold on a minute, there's something wrong. A reindeer hates the way it feels. To pull a thing that runs on wheels, he'd be much happier instead if he could pull a fancy sled. Oh yeah, there we go. Hmm, a reindeer and sleigh? Say anyone could think of that. Jack or Fred or Joe or Nat. Say even Jane could think of that. But isn't it too late to make one little change? A sleigh and an elephant? There's something strange. I'll pick one with plenty of power and size. A blue one with plenty of fun in his eyes. And then just to give a little more tone, have a Raja with rubies perched high on a throne. Say, that makes a story that no one can beat when I say that I saw it on Mulberry Street. Now we're getting somewhere, huh? But now I don't know. It still doesn't seem right. An elephant pulling a thing that's so light would whip it around in the air like a kite, but he'd look simply grand with a great big brass band. Hmm. A band that's so good should have someone to hear it, but it's going so fast that it's hard to keep near it. I'll put on a trailer, I know they won't mind, if a man sits and listens while hitched on behind. But now is it fair? Is it fair what I've done? I'll bet those wagons weigh more than a ton. That's really too heavy a load for one beast. I'll give him some helpers. He needs two, at least. Hmm, so he needs some helpers here. Let's see. But now what worries me is this. Mulberry Street runs right into bliss. Unless there's something I can fix up. There'll be an awful traffic mix up. Hmm. It takes police to do the trick, to guide them through where traffic's thick. It takes police to do the trick. They'll never crash now. They'll, they'll race at top speed with Sergeant Mal Vanny himself in the lead. Going on a parade here, huh? Got everyone in line. Oh boy, here we go. The mayor is there and he thinks it is grand and he raises his hat as they dash by the stand. The mayor is there and the aldermen too, all waving big banners of red, white, and blue. 
And that is the story that no one can beat. When I say that, I saw it on Mulberry Street. Wow, look at everything that's in here. All the details, everyone who's here in the parade. Wow, there's a lot going on. A big magician doing tricks, a 10 foot beard that needs a comb. No time for more, I'm almost home. I swung around the corner and I dashed through the gate. I ran up the steps and I felt simply great. For I had a story that no one could beat and to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street. But dad just quite calmly said, just draw up your stool and tell me the sights on the way home from school. There was so much to tell, I just couldn't begin. Dad looked at me sharply and pulled at his chin. He frowned at me sternly from there in his seat. Was there nothing to look at, no people to greet? Did nothing excite you or make your heart beat? Hmm. Nothing, I said, growing red as a beet, but a plain horse in a wagon on Mulberry Street. So it started out as something really simple and plain. Look at all the details, everything he added throughout the story. He had all these great details and more interesting people that came into his parade and everything that happened in the story. A lot of amazing things were in the story. And at the end, he says his heart beat really fast. He was so excited. I wanna know, what makes your heart beat fast? You can draw a picture about that. You can write a story about that. All these cool things that happened in the story. Anything goes here. I just wanted to remind you to keep on reading. You're doing a great job. I know that you are. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.